Hello Aquarius and welcome to your September-October Mercury Retrograde reading. Happy birthday to all the Virgos and Leo Libras out there that may be cross-watching this reading here today. There is a lot going on planetarily right now. Lots of strong emotional energy. But the focus of this reading will be the third and final Mercury retrograde of 2021. This retrograde will be in Libra. We have already entered the pre-shadow phase, so the energy is gaining momentum. That was on the 6th of September. During this pre-shadow, you should be paying close attention to signs and synchronicities or you know, conversations about old people or things that seem to be, well, where did that come from? Why, why are we suddenly talking about this? You know, there's often a reason for that. You'll be receiving clues, essentially, as what it is you can expect during the actual retrograde. The Mercury stations retrograde proper on September the 27th, where it will remain so until October the 18th. And then, of course, we have the post shadow, which will close on, close out on around October the 31st, which is, of course, Halloween, shifting slightly into November the 1st, depending on what time zone you are on. Let us get into this reading right now. We've started off with the Justice card as your central energy here, Aquarius. Let's see what else we have for you here today. We have the Five of Cups is crossing you. The root of the situation is the Eight of Swords. Recent past. Three of Cups. Okay. What's on your mind, Aquarius? The world mm, okay closing out some cycles coming in in the near future for you is seven of swords uh oh okay advice and guidance five of wands what do you need to know aquarius what you need to know today is the star that's lovely hopes and fears ten of swords and overall outcome for you here in this reading is the moon okay Right. Well, I just take a, a moment to stare down these cards and get the energy in. Let me just explain to you what this retrograde specifically means for Aquarius. Aquarius, this retrograde falls in your ninth house. You may therefore feel exhausted, uh, both physically and mentally during this time. So I would suggest that you use this time to consider what beneficial changes you can implement in your life and, and rest, rest your mind, rest your body when you can, maybe explore some books or research that helps you to kind of think differently about the world. You may feel as though you've kind of lost yourself a little bit recently, somewhere down the line. So take some time out to visualize where and who you want to be. There may be somewhere or someone that you need to revisit. For clarity, pause, stand still for a moment. That is the overall advice for anybody experiencing a Mercury retrograde in the ninth house, which is, which is yours this time around. You have some strong Libra energy in this central position here with the Justice card, and of course we are shifting into Libra season towards the end of September. This Mercury retrograde is indeed in Libra. I see here someone who is prepared to take responsibility for their actions. Perhaps this was not always the case, and if so, something has changed in that regard. It feels as though someone or they, or maybe even you, wants to essentially do the right thing, whatever that might be. Um, I think their actions have had consequences. I think they may have already paid the price for the choices that they made. And there is a desire here to basically fix that, if they can. Why now isn't necessarily clear, but I do feel something has shifted, something has changed for them and we've got this five of cups crossing 
the situation here. Now, again, this could be you, Aquarius. This could be somebody whose energy is strongly with you right now. So use your discernment on, on who you think this is. But essentially, I can see how this person's feeling and I can see what's elicited this, this drive, this desire to, to fix something, to kind of bring some kind of justice into this situation, to make something right. It's Mars in Scorpio energy. Five of Cups is, is regret um, and disappointment it's it's an apology it's wanting fairness it's kind of feeling a bit sorry for yourself uh, again somebody has absolutely received some some karma a big healthy slice of karma has been served and they've had to they've been kind of forced to eat up every crumb um this is humble pie this is somebody coming to you or you coming to somebody here with a significantly massive apology maybe you will receive this apology maybe you won't if you don't please be aware that this energy is with somebody right now in relation to you Aquarius what I see here that lies at the root of this situation the eight of swords uh, Jupiter in Gemini this person has a lot of anxiety and a great deal deal of fear um, like maybe even a fear of relationships a, a fear of connecting with somebody fully a fear of being able to come forward in this very apologetic humble energy maybe their apology will not be well received maybe there'll be some pushback maybe somebody isn't interested in hearing this apology um, maybe too much time has passed too much water under the bridge that kind of thing this person here is struggling with their emotional processes they have a lot to unpack and I would say nobody else can do that for them. I would say, again, this could be you. This could be somebody around you. Um, recent past suggests what this person has done to distract themselves from kind of biting the bullet. I think uh, this has always been underneath all of this situation. Lying underneath all of this has always been this energy of kind of got to return to this, kind of got to fix this, kind of this is unfinished business can't leave it like this it doesn't sit well how this has been left for this person whatever the situation might be and i do think for a while this person has been distracting themselves three of cups with other people possibly in a romantic sense maybe there's been a little bit of rebound kind of energy going on there could just be out partying maybe having one or two many drinks perhaps just kind of throwing themselves into that kind of party social kind of vibe as a distraction from these very weighty heavy thoughts here if this is all with a view to achieving some kind of closure the world card here closure as in we're done here, but we've done it right this time. We've done it with kindness. We've done it in a way that's fair, with compassion. This is a return to finish properly what was not finished properly the first time around. The world card always leads straight back to the beginning of the tarot. It's the final card in the Major Arcana. Always takes us straight back to the full. So it could be that this person does have overtures of starting again, but the first and foremost, it is proper closure. Proper closure that this person is striving for, that this person hopes to achieve. And moving into the future energy with the Seven of Swords, I do see some kind of communication coming in but we've got the seven of swords which is the moon in aquarius so this is your card kind of cast in its darkness and then we finish off with the moon here as well so i'm i'm looking slightly ahead here i i don't see this person being 100 percent honest in this situation um that does not necessarily mean there's some dastardly dark devious malevolent secrets being withheld here it could just be a few white lies it could be holding back on maybe not expressing all of the truth of their feelings this could be a bit of a flex you know oh yeah i'm fine everything's cool but maybe they're not fine maybe everything is not cool there's certainly information being withheld in this situation here this person doesn't want the other person in this situation to know how they feel so let 
me figure I'm going to present this as though this is somebody coming towards you so I will say this person doesn't want you Aquarius to know how they feel but if it's flipped please please do change that narrative accordingly um, they don't want to appear vulnerable they don't want to come across like they miss you or they think about you or they have any kind of feelings for you whatsoever but me thinks this is a front someone is telling porky pies possibly to themselves above all else but it has to be said with all this moon energy on the table it might not be easily easy to see through that so it might come across as come across sorry as very very believable if they say hey i want to achieve some kind of closure with you aquarius um it wasn't really done right kind of feel shitty about that maybe we could have a chat about that but i don't want to pick up where we left off i, d I don't i don't feel that way i am over you um i think it's going to come across as entirely believable um even though it's an outright lie honestly um seven of swords it's very clear it is a lie your advice and guidance is the five of wands saturn in leo this very much tells me that above all else you really need to retain in control of your emotions that's something you should absolutely strive for in relation to whatever's going on here um there's some kind of internal conflict like wrestling with a decision or the choice to move forward or to stay away it's like should i stay or should i go um perhaps somebody here is wrestling with a choice that they've already made to stay silent so perhaps you have decided that you do not want to engage with this person that's a firm decision that you've made a long time ago and perhaps their lack of coming forward towards you has made that incredibly easy for you to do so you know you've made the decision i need to move on for me i need to do this and then they come in and it and it's it's causing conflict it's causing a lot of internal struggle um debates maybe you're flip flopping between oh should i reach out should i give them what they're asking for or should i just forever let this stay in the past um i think the past is coming back here after a period of significant distraction and uh this temptation it's not the temptation to reach out in the first place that's on the table here today it's the temptation to return the sentiment so i think that somebody is absolutely already going to be reaching out maybe they already have maybe they will during at the actual retrograde maybe this person's name has started randomly coming up again after nobody's spoken about this person or said anything about this person for the longest time during this pre-shadow if somebody's name starts coming up and you're like where's all that coming from that is your clue that is your hint that this is the person you can expect during the actual retrograde um and this person will reach out and the te the temptation will be should you return that communication should you are you going to stop yourself do you still feel some anger I think there's a possibility here that you perhaps do still feel a little resentment a little anger or this person just you know when you think you're doing fine and then you see somebody and you just fall to pieces you just freak like have this internal freak out and you're like oh there's me thinking i was doing really well with this and while this person was not in your energy field you were doing all right but then boom they're back again and it's like oh just crumbles just crumble um so this is you trying to kind of keep your cool trying to keep your wits about you trying not to have any knee-jerk reactions trying not to be emotionally swayed and kind of stay firm to those boundaries that you've set for yourself what you need to know is the star um, this is somebody with hopes and dreams this is somebody that has kind of held on um, for a long time it's also an indication that you are actually safe to express yourself this the, ch the main challenge of this situation is behind you so don't try not to freak out um, if this does come towards you kind of have a bit of faith and trust in yourself and how far you've come and how far you've grown um because 
The real hard work, I would say, because the tower is the card that comes before the star, I would say, therefore, that's very much an indication that the real hard work is, is over. It's done. You, you have done that real hard work. So trust in yourself to keep your cool and to not be triggered and to come at this person with the responses that you are comfortable with and what makes you feel dignified and confident in that approach your hopes and fears this is the ten of swords which is a very very painful visceral challenging energy it's the feeling of being backstabbed of being attacked of being betrayed of being humiliated and these are clearly all of your fears if this person comes back and you behave in ways that you're not comfortable with you know the afterthought with oh face palm why did i say that why did i do that oh i wish i'd said this and that and that in hindsight it's 2020 right i do think these are all to the most to, to the largest degree unfounded worries that won't come to pass given the fact that you have the star here in the what you need to know position um i think this person might initially make you wobble like oh you know, um, I think ultimately, though, however, you might not say anything at all. Um, the moon card here, you might you might straight up not reply to this person. You might waver on that decision. You might take a while, a few days, maybe even weeks to to mull this over, to consider whether you should or should not. I think ultimately, perhaps you will forever hold your peace here. Or if you do, if some any kind of communication is elicited, elicited two ways, you know, both ways, um, from both sides it's going to be muted it's going to be restrained definitely holding back emotions keeping a lot of stuff to yourself i think you're in this place aquarius where you think you know i don't i don't owe this person explanations i don't owe this person anything actually i don't have to tell them anything and i think that's kind of the conclusion that you're arriving at beyond that you know maybe this was an icebreaker maybe but this returning energy is very, very strong for Mercury retrograde. It's very, very strong in your reading here today, Aquarius, that's for sure. I'm going to move this reading over to the extended on Patreon now. We're going to explore this much, much deeper, see what exactly this person would like to say, what their agenda is, because they're coming across kind of shady here. So let's see if we can dig into that and see if it is truly the closure that they are presenting here or if it is something more, because these the Seven of Swords and the Moon card very much do suggest it's potentially there's a lot more going on under the surface here than this person's letting on. If you want to head over there for more, the link is in the description. My Patreon is $5 a month. And for that, you're going to get all the extended readings for all of the signs. So you can cross watch and check out your other placements. You'll also receive access to our Discord chat where we chat about the readings and Twin Flames and a whole bunch of other random stuff. It's a, it's a lovely little group that we've got in there. Um, I'd love to see you over there. Please do take care. I'll be back very soon.